Hello, good people of the internet, and welcome or welcome back to Vlogmas with me, Hexa. In today's video, I wanted to share with you guys five comfy and cozy outfits that you can wear this holiday season. First up, let's be honest here, this Christmas is unlike any Christmas we have had in the past. There are not nearly as many events and parties and fun things to do going on. So of all of these outfits, this is the one you are most most likely to find me in this is my favorite set of cozy soft warm Christmas pajamas. I got these probably for Christmas or St. Nicholas a few years ago. They have a holly print on the pants and a cute little Christmas pudding on the top that says fancy some. You can even see my name written on the drawstring of the pants because, you know, it was a Christmas present and it had a ribbon right there, so <laughs> they actually have my name on them. And I like to pair this set of pajamas with my favorite festive socks, which are these cute little fuzzy Rudolph socks that I got from H&M a few years ago. Outfit number two is what I would wear if I want to look nice but not too formal and I still want to feel comfortable. I would probably wear this to like a small dinner with friends or family. I would also wear this if I'm like going out to the mall or anything like that. It's a cute outfit, but it's still really comfy and warm and cozy. I just wear any turtleneck I find lying around with this really cute color blocked sweater dress from the United Colors of Benetton. I like to pair this dress with plum colored tights just to give a little contrast there between the warm colors in the dress and the cool purple of the tights. And for shoes, I wear my trusty beige leather ankle boots. I wear these pretty much everywhere, all the time with any outfit. They are just really versatile and they work with pretty much anything I wanna wear. Similar to the sweater dress look, this third outfit is something that I would wear to a semi-formal or semi-casual event. The shirt is from a brand called Back Couture. It is ethically made in a small woman-owned studio in Spain. This shirt has an adorable apple and flower print that I just love. This particular shirt with this particular print is no longer available on the Back Couture website, but they are always coming out with new prints and new styles. I'm sure if you check out the website, you'll find a million things that you love. Their outfits are the perfect balance of classy and fancy, as well as being playful and fun. I would recommend sizing up a little bit if you buy from Back Couture because I have found that their shirts are a little bit more snug than I would like. These fabulous stripy trousers are the Camden trousers from Lucy and Yek, another color scheme that is no longer on the website, but again, they have this cut of trouser in lots of different styles and colors. I love Lucy and Yek. It is another ethically, sustainably made fashion brand, and they come out with so many cute prints every single season. Season. I like to cozy up this look a little bit with this nice loose three-quarter sleeve red sweater. I've had this sweater for Ever. It's from a brand called Kash Kash. I'm sure you can find something similar to it anywhere, but I just really love this sweater. I like the three quarter sleeves. I like that it's a little bit kind of puffy looking. It's just very comfy and nice to like warm up a look in the winter. And for shoes, I'm wearing these adorable little red lace up shoes. I have no idea what brand these are from. I just got them super cheap from Taobao. They're just really like adorable and charming. Not necessarily the best shoes for winter, but I cannot resist the allure of this beautiful red color that they have. I wanted to include at least one formal party look in this lookbook, and I was initially gonna wear this red taffeta cocktail dress I have, but spoiler alert, it doesn't fit me anymore. So instead, I'm wearing this dress that actually belonged to my mom when she was young. It is is technically a summer dress since it's made out of a pretty thin cotton, but you could layer it with different things to make it appropriate to wear in the winter. And it is also technically not a dress because in fact, it has 
pants, which is pretty cool. It definitely has a very nice vintage look to it. It has shoulder pads and everything. And this fabric is super soft, breezy, and comfy to wear in any situation. To make this look a little more exciting, I wore this pair of fabulous and insane shoes from Marc Jacobs. I call these my circus shoes because they are just so outrageous. They have all these like metallic primary colors and I just love them. I very rarely get occasions when I can wear these shoes and not look like a crazy person, but I honestly feel like they are the perfect shoes to jazz up any outfit. You could literally wear them with like jeans and a white t-shirt and you would look amazing. I also styled this dress with another pair of designer shoes I own. These are from Alexander Wang and are a lot less comfortable to walk in than the Marc Jacobs ones. The Marc Jacobs ones are platforms, so despite being very high heels, they're still quite comfy, but these Alexander Wang ones are pretty high and definitely not platforms. I never know if you're supposed to pronounce his name Alexander Wang or Alexander Wang, but you know, <laughs> I'm just hoping at least one of those is right. Anyways, these shoes are very, very cool. I really love them. I love how pointy the toe is and the color is so beautiful. They're like black with this dark turquoise kind of color and apparently the leather is treated so that it actually changes color slightly if it gets warm. So like if you hold your fingers on the blue part of the shoe for a little while, it'll turn a lighter shade of blue, which is pretty insane. I don't have a ton of designer stuff, just a few pairs of shoes and I love having any occasion to be able to wear them. Anyways, I thought the dark turquoise looked pretty nice with the red from this dress, so that's why I wanted to style this dress with two different pairs of shoes to just test it out and see which one looks better. So let me know in the comments, which pair of shoes do you prefer with this dress? My last outfit is the obligatory ugly Christmas sweater party look. I got this sweater a few years ago in the men's section at H&M. It features a Christmas tree with 3D baubles in the form of red pom-poms as well as real bells that really ring when you walk around. I am no stranger to weird and quirky fashion, and to be honest, I don't find this sweater particularly ugly or embarrassing. I actually wear it quite a lot in the holiday season just to spread some joy and Christmas cheer. But since there's quite a lot going on on top, I paired it with these simple beige trousers as well as, again, my trusty beige boots that go with everything. I didn't want to leave this video without saying that I wanted to share this lookbook just to give you some ideas of things that you could wear to take some nice photos of you and your family at home. This year I would strongly advise against going to any Christmas parties or large family gatherings with people outside of your own household. I know it sucks and I know Christmas is one of the only opportunities in the year for many of us to to see our extended family, but this year it's really best for everybody that you just stay home. And there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to dress up cute and take some photos in the comfort of your own home. So I hope that these outfit ideas inspired you to do just that. You know, dress up nice for yourself, take some cute photos at home for Instagram, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, and hopefully next year you'll have the opportunity to wear these looks to as many Christmas parties as you want to go to. I hope you guys liked this video and I will see you all back here tomorrow for the next episode of Vlogmas. Thanks for watching!